my PCBs came back today from OSH Park over in the US. The IT Studio ones have been with me for about a week now. And I thought I'd just do a very quick kind of first impressions. I uh, think the two types of boards. And I, haven't, uh, I haven't had a chance to kind of use them yet, and this isn't going to be an in-depth uh, look. And these are incredibly simple circuits, so it's not a particularly good look at the, the kind of production qualities of this or their ability to churn out boards. It's just um, a first impressions. The, the IT Studio, as I mentioned, took about two weeks to turn up, and I received uh, 10 for about $13. Whereas uh, OSH Park, um, in the end it took about three weeks, um, a week to get it produced and two weeks for delivery, which seems uh, it's a little expensive, uh, it's a little uh, long, two weeks delivery just from the US, but it, the delivery is kind of thrown in, which I think explains the, the low cost option there. And uh, so that was three weeks in total for that. Um, it's not too bad for that, and it was um, so sixteen dollars for three kind of boards. And it depends what type of thing you're doing. For me, prototyping, I don't really need uh, one, two of each of the most, just to kind of mess around with. And um, so the fact that I've got ten of these doesn't bother me very much. But for, obviously, for if you're trying to churn things out, then this is probably a better choice. And um, the was their default kind of. Uh, board colour is purple and they even shipped it in a purple envelope which is quite interesting. The the main difference for me was the way you sent them the files. IT Studio after purchase you sent them uh, kind of various Gerber files and drill files for this and this is all exported from Eagle whereas um, with OSH Park you send them the Eagle file itself where you upload it and they've got a really nice system where you upload the file, it analyzes it and it creates renderings and designs for how this board's going to look and so you can be pretty damn sure of what you want, of what you've kind of designed is correct before you order it. Whereas I've always found in the past, um, someone like me doesn't do this very often or enough to kind of really get into the, the swing of what files to produce and how, it is kind of a bit of a gamble. and. Uh, and so yeah, that this is much more reassuring using this the RSH Park service. The the other odd, oddity with this is the uh, silk screening on here. So, man, you can see it's only C1 is labelled. Now it's quite possible that I put the uh, kind of silk screen legends onto a different layer and they never went off. Or it's also possible that the the size was simply too small and they just omitted printing them. Um, I'm not really sure, I need to kind of dig out the email which included the file. OSH Park file had a slightly later revision. I included this um, bypass up here in case my uh, level shifting circuit didn't work. I could then choose just to bypass a signal directly. Um, but this has kind of turned out perfect. Print quality, kind of a close inspection, does seem a little bit better on this one as well. Uh, PCB is slightly thicker, but I don't think it's probably just down to choice more than anything. It's um, it's nice, it's kind of a, has definitely got a really nice kind of quality to it. The, the other thing is the OSH Park, they did put their own uh, serial number right across the middle. Something like this, it doesn't really matter, but if I was making kind of a panel for something or something that actually shipped as a final board, then that certainly wouldn't be desirable on there. But then again, if you went for OSH Park, you're restricted to uh, as dark purple only, which again may be a deal breaker for you. Um, so I'm going to give these a go and um, the other thing I found was the this board is slightly too big um, for the Neopixel ring um, I wasn't quite sure who to blame for that the fact that these are now identical uh, in size means it's my fault for making them too large but uh, it didn't take long to kind of uh, sand one of these down just on a uh, grinder did quite a quick job of it so I'm going to have a go soldering these up in the next couple of days and give them a good test and see if my design actually works and hopefully come up with a kind of a next step up test for this kind of board service and choose one of these and come up with a more complicated design.